In this video, I'd like to share what I consider to be the perfect hard drive for video editing. But please stick around to the end for an honorable mention. My name is Austin Minges, and I'm the owner of Minges Post in Austin, Texas. I've been in business for over 20 years, so you can imagine I've used almost every type of hard drive imaginable. Before I show you the actual hard drive, I feel it's important to share the context in which I'm using it. A perfect hard drive for me might not be the perfect hard drive for you. First, I never have the only copy of my client's footage. I always make it really clear that clients should have multiple backups of their footage and the copy they provide to me is solely for editing. At the end of a project, I delete the raw media and I typically only keep a media managed project of the final deliverables for archive purposes. Secondly, my specialty is short form content. Most of the time I'm cutting broadcast commercials, which are only 30 seconds long, so my projects rarely exceed a few terabytes. Third, I mostly edit alone. If I'm working with an assistant editor or a co-editor on a project, they typically have their own copy of the footage and will share project files or will work in a team project in Premiere Pro. We don't need to access the same files off the same drive. Lastly, speed is of utmost importance to me because the majority of the projects I'm cutting are shot on the Ari Alexa or sometimes the Sony Venice. I'm typically dealing with 4K Apple ProRes 4444 but sometimes they shoot raw, in which case the data rates can be very high. Given my use case, the perfect editing hard drive for me is the OWC Envoy Pro SX. The four terabyte version, which is the largest size available at the time of this recording, currently retails for $599. It's bus powered, which means it has no power cable, and I absolutely love that. It's silent, which is great if you're doing any audio work, but it's also helpful if you just like a quiet working environment. The drive is small and the case is rugged, so it travels really well. And most importantly for me, it advertises speeds of up to 2,800 megabytes per second. Before I show you a quick speed test, I'd like to share something that confused me for a very long time. The difference between megabits and megabytes. Often camera data rates are written as megabits per second, while hard drive speeds are written as megabytes per second. Turns out there are eight megabits in a megabyte. So when you see that 4K Apple ProRes 4444 has a data rate of around 1000 megabits per second, you can divide by eight and you get 125 megabytes per second. Now it's easier to compare to hard drive speeds. Let's do a quick speed test. Here are the read write speeds I'm getting on my Mac Studio. Not quite as high as advertised, but still quite good. If I'm editing 4K Apple ProRes 4444, I can have six, eight, 10 streams in my timeline with no issues. So it's blazing fast, silent, rugged, and does not require a power cord. I'd say the only con for me is the size limit. When I have a project that's over four terabytes, I have to look for another option. And if I had a need to keep a lot of raw data, or if I needed multiple editors to access the same drive, I would consider adding a NAS which stands for Network Attached Storage. You can find a lot of videos on YouTube that explain what a NAS is, some of the best brands out there, and how to set one up. And now for the honorable mention. The only drive that I personally like more than the OWC Envoy Pro SX is the internal SSD in my Mac Studio. You might be asking why is it an honorable mention if you like it more? Well, there are two reasons. First, almost anyone can go buy the Envoy Pro SX, Mac or PC, and incorporate it into their editing workflow. In order to get an Apple internal SSD, you obviously have to buy a new Mac. Second, upgrading the internal SSD in a new Mac is quite expensive, though I still highly recommend it. I maxed out my Mac Studio with the eight terabyte SSD and it's almost always my first choice for editing. Let's do a quick speed test on my internal SSD to see what it can do. It is over twice as fast as the Envoy. It would be challenging to max this drive out, even with multiple streams of Ari Alexa RAW. So for editors with a use case similar to mine, I highly recommend the OWC Envoy Pro SX. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite editing drive is, but be sure to explain your context. If you got value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to the channel.